<laughs> Everything you say is now be being heard. Except it says live stream offline. Yeah, dude, it's not immediate. If you want that, go to Mixer.com. <laughs> Mixer.com does immediate live streams, actually. It's really nice. Dave. Oh, Dave. It Our is really comic good. relief back there. <laughs> I'm just saying. Use Mixer I know. if you want. I know, boy. Oh, in the car. Yeah. Okay, hello everyone. Hi. <laughs> Here's hello, Michael. hello. All right, Michael. Today we are talking about how to dehydrate food because it's summertime. I'm not going to sing because oh. heaven forbid we get a copyright strike for something that doesn't even sound remotely like the original. Well, I wonder if someone says, get it together, people, a so, copyright strike. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a copyright strike for a it's song a that I... Huh? It's not a strike. It's just a claim. Copyright claim for a song mm. that I made up. Seriously, people. <laughs> get it together, Hollywood. Okay. So, <laughs> anyway. So I was going to sing, summertime, summertime, but I won't do that. Because then we'll get in trouble. Yep. You might. All right. You so already we are, said two words. That's enough. We are doing <laughs> dehydrating food today. Woohoo. And mom loves to dehydrate. Mm -hmm. I don't mind dehydrating. I do freezing mostly. <laughs> but neither one of us cans. I used to can. Years ago, that's all I did was canning. <laughs> so, but. Yes, dear. Do Gladiola you? Becca Pittman says, I have some kale in the fridge that needs to be dehydrated. Sending it your way. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should send it media mail. And yeah. <laughs> Let's hope it gets lost. <laughs> in we're a craft refund, envelope. We're not refund of kale, right? <laughs> I don't understand the point of kale. Kale is one of those things. I do not understand the point of it. Sorry. See, no, absolutely no value in kale. Sorry. <laughs> Donna Snesco says, Hi guys, long time no see. Hi Donna! <laughs> I know, it's been forever. It's only been... So we're going to talk about our meetup went great yesterday. Oh my, that was so fun. Every was, single person was fabulous. I know, I was yes, telling my were. folks, I said, I've never been to a meeting where everybody visited and... You know, yeah. it was just fun. It was, it was just Actually, totally acted fun. Like we liked each other. Yeah, we did act like we liked each other. Huh? <laughs> so we're gonna talk about our meetup and after we're done with this. But mom and I don't can, and one of the reasons we don't can is well, you can freeze, can, can, and dehydrate. Those are two of the main, or three of the main ways to preserve food. And uh, I used to can all the time. That's just I didn't even know about dehydrating. But it got to where if you, I found out, I did that when we had a little bit more money. When things got tight, I found out that buying the fruit uh, or the vegetables and a lot of the spices or the vinegar and the different things like that cost me more to can the food. Especially the sugar. Especially the sugar, yeah, if you did anything with sugar in it. Then it did just to go buy the canned goods at the grocery mm -hmm. store. And I know, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, I know what's in it. And that's fine. If you've got the money to do it, can. If you love canning, can. But I didn't have the money to have the luxury, you know, to spend extra like that. Also, it was cans. I was living in Kansas. We didn't have uh, central air or anything at the time. And to be canning over a hot stove for like maybe, sometimes it would be six to eight hours a day I would be canning things. Because when stuff comes in season, you really have to kind of get, you know. Can't the, wait on the Yeah, cucumbers. you have to get it. And it was, a, it was work, you know, peeling things and mm -hmm. that type of thing. But then I got to add up. Okay, this is for Donna. I put pen to paper and I got to figuring out that, you know, uh, I added up the water it was costing me to boil all the you know utensils mm -hmm. in to get them sterilized. Even if you do it in the dishwasher, it's gonna take some water. I uh, added up all the spices, um, just different things like that. The electricity on the oven, you, or at the top of the stove, using that electricity. I added all those things up, and it was almost double to triple in some cases, especially if I had to buy the fruits and vegetables. The expense was over buying canned food on mm -hmm. sale at the grocery store. So that's what, besides the work, it was so hot and such hard, you know, pretty hard for work. For canning? For canning, yeah. yeah. And so 
and then I we were we had our own little business at home and so I could spend two to three hours on our business stuff and I would make like ten times the amount of money that I would if I canned you know so it was better for I, me to yeah. sit down and can for our mm -hmm. work on our business for two to three hours than to stand and can for eight hours yeah would you I was gonna say I know people who they could spend all day canning but if they did their job for an hour, they would make as much money in one hour as they would canning. So, yeah, that's especially exactly. some bloggers and that kind of thing where you're working at home. I mean, yeah. So. Yeah. So if it's a hobby and you enjoy doing it and you get free fruit and vegetables or something, yeah. and even if you have a garden, you got to watch it because sometimes you have to use the water, yeah. the seeds, the fertilizer, the herbicides, the pesticides. And like today, one of the people on a group that I'm on said, I'm just so sad. The bugs are eating all of my produce and I keep trying and there's nothing I can do and all this food is going away. Well, all that work you've done, this is why I believe in pesticides because I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, I don't have the time or the energy to do that. So hail, if, if you, you had a hail storm like we're a hail storm, there goes your yeah. whole crap. crap, so. crap. <laughs> <laughs> That too, depending on how you're looking at it, I guess. Your fertilizer could be running down. Yeah, the crop, your whole crop can get destroyed. Oh, goodness. Yes, dear, did you have so, a comment? Oh, no, no. But there were a number of people saying they're glad to see you. On oh, thank show. you, guys. Thanks. So um, so that's why you got to add all this stuff up and do some figuring if canning really is worth it for you, you know. Mm -hmm. And I guess the older I got, the more I kind of figured out, you know, I would rather spend that time doing stuff with the family. They don't want me tired and exhausted. They'd rather yeah. eat a can of stuff from the grocery store than have mom laying on the couch dead, you know, tired mm -hmm. and crabby and everything else. The other way, the other thing is freezing. And I used to have an upright freezer, a big one, and I froze a lot of things. But over just a few years time, I lost three full freezers full of food that I'd found on sale and I thought I was saving a lot of money putting all this good sale stuff in the freezer and all of it got spoiled. So here I'd wasted all this, a whole freezer, I did this three times, a whole freezer of food, all the electricity that I'd spent running that freezer, keeping that food that I then lost in, so that it ended up, all the food in there, if I'd bought it at the regular ch price, it would have been cheaper than the money I lost from the freezers, uh, you know, going. So that doesn't mean I don't freeze and I don't put some things in there. But the perfect solution that I found for me to preserve my food is dehydrating. And that way, if I get somebody gives me some apples or something like that, I can do the dehydrating. I don't have to worry about my freezer conking out. I don't have to do all the, there is work, some work to dehydrating, but it's about one fourth, wouldn't you say? Of canning. Of yeah. the canning. It's about the same as freezing, but. Yeah, yeah. it's close to the same yeah. as freezing, but not near the work Did as canning. Did you get the picture it. of the dehydrator? Yeah, Dave has Okay, yeah. so the kind of dehydrator we use, everybody asked this question. Now, we, oh man, like 10, 15 years ago, we were given, this particular dehydrator. Can you put a link in, Mike? Um, oh, sure. It for the like Excalibur, box. huh? It looks like a box. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For the Excalibur dehydrator. Now, the Excalibur yeah, company man. did send that to us like 10 or 15 years ago. <laughs> Here's a picture <laughs> 10 of it. Or 15 years ago? Yeah. yeah. And we've been using it. Mom has been using it that whole time. Here's and we really love it. Now, I, love I would it. say I if it. you're going to do a lot of dehydrating, pitfalls and pluses. Now, this is the kind that you can get at Walmart, whatever. I've had this one for probably 10 or 15 years. And if you're just starting out and don't want to do expensive, this, this is the way, way to go. go. Mm -hmm. If you want to test and see if dehydrating is for you, start with one of these. I got this one at a yard sale for five bucks. I've got one like this for two dollars before. They're all over at garage sales. So, um, this one, it comes apart, and it has the different layers. You don't have to put all the layers on. You can do just a couple. You can do all of them. Now, the thing that I don't like, the, the thing I do like about this is it's small, and if you're just getting started, it's a great way to start. The thing I don't like about it is the huge holes. 
Now, when I made my turkey jerky one time with ground beef, with she ground was turkey. legendary for the turkey jerky. <laughs> so I decided one time when I was 19 to dehydrate ground turkey and make it into turkey jerky. All the turkey jerky stuff fell through these holes and burned on the bottom. It was the biggest mess. So point number one, don't ever try to make turkey jerky out of ground turkey. It doesn't work. So number two, I these come with plastic things. They're, and I've solid, lost, they're solid plastic. Yeah, I've yeah. lost mine. It's a solid plastic that you can make things like fruit roll-ups and those kinds of things. I've lost mine. But if you lose them, now we have the silicone, the little silicone mats. I find at the yard sales and all that for 50 cents or a dollar. You can use either silicone, which is the best. The next best would be parchment paper. To cut a piece of parchment paper and put it on the parchment paper on here. So either one of those <laughs> would work. And you quilters at so, uh, Joanne Fabrics, you can get the template plastic to make uh, templates for quilting out of, and you can cut it yeah. and use it mm -hmm. on there. Now, I would get the Excalibur if you're doing more because you can put a whole lot more food yes. on at one time. I mean, we're talking probably 10 times the amount of food that you can put yeah. in here. Also, the holes are itty bitty pretty small on the excalibur mm -hmm. um, um i would say they're probably on our smallest ones here they're probably you could get probably at least half they're half of five the or six ones, yeah. yeah five or six in there and so, another thing too on the excalibur they have like a plastic sheet thing that you do everything on this you've got some things you have to try to pick and pull off of mm -hmm. here. If the apples get stuck, you're kind of picking. With the Excalibur, you just kind of bend and pop it and they just pop off the sheets yeah. is what they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, And you can adjust the temperature on the Excalibur. So is this different. one, you said they might want to start with this one? Is yeah. this one yeah. less expensive? If you're just wanting yeah. to, t you know, put your feet in the water to yeah. try, I would say, and you can find these a lot of times at yeah. garage sales. I can go to choice. Amazon and look for a link. Which one is but, this one? Well, just Type in a dehydrator Hi, and it'll look like before. Yeah, you'll see. Uh, that. The other thing on both of them is the trays are removable, so you don't have this whole thing right in your space. You can take your tray, be working on this tray, set it to the side, and come to the mm. next tray. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so next. And by the way, guys, we're authors of the Diana Dime cookbook right here. Go to livingonadime.com, click on store, and you can get it there. And I do have um, a lot of stuff on the website about dehydrating or some well, things. A little few. She's got posts. one article. Oh, is well, there only one? I thought I did a couple of them. Well, I thought we did too, but apparently there's not. Huh. So Michael, so share got, that. Well, at least there's yeah, one more. Michael, share yes. that one. Yes, Dave. What about the kind that is mesh and it dries naturally without power? Okay, so you can use. Alicia. <laughs> Here's the thing you can use the mesh ones. I have seen people put them in their car in the summer on <laughs> the dash and let the sun dehydrate them. One, that kind of gets your car stinking. I don't know if you want to do that to your car, but I guess if you're putting it in your car, you really don't care what your car smells like. So, uh, Secondly, it can work, but in humid climates, it, it works best in places like Arizona, Colorado, Utah, Idaho, California places where it's not humid. Now, if you live in a humid place, that stuff can mold because it, even though it's hot, it's so humid it doesn't dry out quick enough. Mm -hmm. So you have to put it in some place like your car where the heat is intensified or maybe put a greenhouse panel. I've seen people put them outside with greenhouse panels over them. You can do that. Um, and if the zombie apocalypse ever happens, you know, we can do that. But it's not, I don't think it's the most efficient way. And that does, it does work better, I will say, for things that are like um, peppers, sun-dried tomatoes, those kinds of things work a little bit better than the fruit roll-ups. Mm -hmm. Apples work great for that. So pears. Well, you can just take a screen door and put stuff on there and cover it mm -hmm. and, and it do the same thing outside. But it's just a little messier. It takes way longer. And the, if the wind blows, if, you got I dust in your food. I think our bugs going to be flying around at, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so is, is this similar to the one you were just showing? This one. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's a lot less expensive. Okay. So, so this is the starter one? Yeah. Yes. So Mike's going to put the starter one in there for you. And then he'll put the, um, 
he will put the one of the Excalibur. We didn't know we were doing this video, so we didn't bring the Excalibur from Mom's house, but. And you can dry them in the oven, too. Um, you can, but it's in the summer. Yeah, and, and so, so you don't want to. And so it heats up the when mushroom the, in Idaho or When the fruits and vegetables Alaska. are in season more, you know, you don't want the oven really on. So yeah. You but Someone was asking how to do the, do, how do they taste when you dehydrate them? You know what? Really good. It's really yeah. good. I don't think I've had hardly anything of you that hasn't tasted good. We'll show you some examples yeah. of the stuff. And I'm really picky about these types of things. And I was really surprised. I was leery to try it. And it tastes really good. And another thing about these, we'll go ahead and dehydrate some of these. I, these here, um, can, should I go ahead and show these? Do you want? Yeah, we'll show you some of these foods here. These so you can here see. are, uh, mm. I don't know if you guys can see them okay. That's the post. It's, so the post that I shared is the one that we found on the website. It's about potatoes. About potatoes. Which is a great thing. And why I did the okay. potatoes, because that's kind of a basic. If you can do the potatoes, you can do just about anything once you get what the potatoes is, down. What is that? Hash browns. Oh. And so I guess we I didn't do the potato, we cook the potatoes, did we? That's okay. Oh. Uh, these are hash browns. And... Uh, you know, I looked at that thing and I thought, I don't know if I'm going to eat it. But what's so nice about these is I de dehydrate these up and I bring them back to Tara. And what I found out that I, a thing I didn't plan on doing, you can go ahead. We're going to, we're going to, so we're going to re, so here's what they look like dehydrated, okay? And so we're going to rehydrate them here. Steve. Okay, so yeah. we're going to let them sit for just a little bit. Just it's juice. just really hot boiling Usually I use water boiling water because it does faster you and it'll take about it five ten minutes yeah so we'll rehydrate these and show you what they we look just like. put just water on top covered them is all we did with water now what's handy about these tar was so sick a few years back and I would dehydrate these and all that she'd have to do is pour the water on them and fry them up in the pan if she wanted to. She didn't have to peel them. They cooked half the, well, it, you just basically was browning them and warming them because they're already cooked through. So if you're, if you're planning on having, a, if your a baby's coming or you know somebody's sick or something, these are really good and con, they're like a convenient food because you don't have to work mm -hmm. near as hard as trying to peel and then grate and fry up regular hash browns. I know a lot of people buy frozen ones and you can do that too but for the oh and you can use uh, frozen frozen hash browns if you get a good deal on frozen hash browns and don't have room in your freezer dehydrate them up and they work just fine so you can either what I usually do is I boil the potatoes in a big huge pan, pot of water uh, just until I can get a bamboo Boo stick to go all the way through. You don't want to overcook them, but you want to make sure they're cooked all the way through. And then once they're cooked, I cool them down for just a little bit, peel them. They peel real easy because the skins peel easy after you cooked them. Grate them up, spread them on the trays, and let them just dehydrate. Now I don't. I have the the time and the temperature or the time. The time that you, what do I want to say? The amount of time, the amount, the amount of time that you want to dehydrate them for depends on where you live yeah. and your climate. If it's more humid, you have to leave them on there longer. But you'll be able to tell uh, mm -hmm. because they will be, they're just going to be crispy like so this. She just put those inside the bowl and put hot water on it, guys. Can you see that? I thought it was in the frame, but um, <clears throat> it might not have been. Uh, Sandra was asking, how thin do you cut veggies like carrots and things? You know, it doesn't matter. Um, usually, you don't have to get really stressed out about getting them super thin or anything. I, as a matter of fact, I take the little baby carrots, is that what they're called? You know, that they're already peeled and everything. I, if I have a half a bag in the um, refrigerator that's um, maybe I'm not using up fast enough, I will just throw them on the dehydrator whole, just like that. Sometimes I might slice them in half. It just I usually matter. quarter carrots Lots. or do about, I don't know what, quarter inch slices. Yeah, yeah. I, I sometimes will slice them in half so that the air can get to the inside part of it. Peppers, you could dehydrate peppers however you want. We usually cut them in strips. This one, Mom, chopped them. But you no, could just actually, cut them in I half. didn't. I cut these in just. Uh, Big, these were big chunks. I know yeah. it doesn't look like it. Well, I mean, but, but they these were just big, slices. They yeah, were, yeah, these were big chunks. And they de these are peppers, red and yellow peppers. 
and Dave, can you pull the camera down maybe to my hand? Yeah. That I just kind of halved and then quartered and threw on there. They were Kat, huge ones. Cat oh. Laura said that she also did peppers. And so here, we'll throw a couple of peppers in the water so you guys can see. <laughs> oh, those are going to be good. <laughs> the, uh, the thing is, there it is, the thicker they are, the longer it'll take them to dehydrate. Mm -hmm. The thinner you can get them, the less time. And I don't have time to worry about it, so I just chunk the things up, you know, mm -hmm. and go for it. Now these here, uh, well these are, are, what kind of peppers are these, Tara? They're saying those peppers look these good. These are bell peppers. These, the ones I had were bell peppers. I don't know what these are. Um, and they look strange, so don't be scared. They, these will puff up and look just like a big chunk. Well, you'll see pretty soon when I get them. So, do, I'm sorry, were you saying how you store them? You, you just put them in yet. We haven't got, any kind we of... haven't got the storage Yeah, yet, we'll so get the storage okay. in just a second. You are just regular red peppers. Those are regular red peppers? Yeah. Okay, see now Tara, this is how she did her, her pe these are the same ones that I did. I just quartered mine where she did hers in strips, mm -hmm. cut hers in strips. Did they get, see that beat, yep. Dave? Now, so, you know, you can do- So, okay, so, what are some of the things that we dehydrate? We dehydrate hash browns, potatoes. You could do them in slices if you don't want to shred them, thin slices. We dehydrate peppers. We dehydrate... Um, I do pumpkin. Pumpkin, any of the, the uh, sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. We dehydrate um, apples, pears, peaches. Peas. Peas. Um, what else have we dehydrated? I'm trying to think. Haven't done broccoli. Um, let I me think. I think I did celery maybe one time. We did celery. Mm -hmm. Celery did well. And watermelon does not work well. No. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah. You're not <laughs> you laughing. Know, somebody <laughs> actually, well, somebody did <laughs> ask about watermelon. Think and about rinds. No, it doesn't. The way to think about it is the rinds. They just probably would, would they would take too It'd long. Too you'd have to really yeah. Oh, it's B that asked that. Yeah, you'd I have to I think they really... would mold first. Hi, B. Hi. Uh, yeah, anything, and the juicier it is, the harder mm. it is. Yeah. I, I've done tomatoes. They're a little bit juicy, but you can do tomatoes. And we do have, in Dining on a Dime cookbook, sun-dried tomatoes. We have them on page 140. Well, they, they're on... Hello, oh, hi, Susie. Susie. You're supposed to be on your vacation. Hope you're having fun. Long time <laughs> um, Right here on page 140 is sun-dried tomatoes. So if you guys want to know how to do the sun-dried tomatoes in your dehydrator, have the have recipe 140. Sorry. Okay. Um, so those are the kinds of things, just a second, those are the kinds of things that we normally dehydrate. And I would recommend starting out with apples mm -hmm. or potatoes. Yep. Those are the two easiest, easiest, easiest. ones. Uh -huh. and, well, and pe peppers are pretty peppers easy. Peppers are easy. Yeah, peppers. Cool. Now, the, the sweet potatoes. You said we had questions. Should okay. We well, let's answer this since we've had it for just a second. The sweet potatoes, what we do is we cook them. Those look like mm -hmm. chips. And then mash them and put them on the tray and mm -hmm. let them dry in sheets mm -hmm. and then they store a lot easier and yes. they get a lot drier can you make potato chips like that yeah you can yeah. Mm -hmm. you can okay. yeah what do they taste like i've never eaten them dried well this is gonna i was gonna say some more stuff on this should i answer questions first tara yeah okay i'll answer questions uh next. well just we had a lot of people that were so um Sorry, Joanne asked, how long do the dehydrated veggies last? For a long time, right? It depends on how you store them. They last for a long, long time. These ones I have um, just in a plastic ice cream bucket like this. Now, most of the time, but most because I did a lot of potatoes, but most of the time I like to store them in these glass jars, and I have a vacuum sealer, and when I do that, they will last for, what, 10 years? Yeah. You add an oxygen pack, though. Mike's going to get the Which link. One? Yep. Uh, That's fine. You can add an oxygen pack. Mike's going to get a link for the oxygen packs. If you put the oxygen packs in here, they last even longer. They mm -hmm. do better with the oxygen packets because they, it absorbs all the extra but, moisture. Oh, what? Three, four, five years at least? Well, these were done in 2013, seal. and these were done in 2017. So those are the... These were done... In 2013, yeah, and then and we haven't even kept them in the oxygen. Yeah, so. and you and um, 
I even use cans. I like these solid, hard plastic cans. You know, a lot of things like. So this is funny. Look at the date. Oh, you can't see. Look at the date on here. August 16th, 2001 is how long you've had this bucket. <laughs> that I've recycled it and reused it a million times. That's why I never have any trash because I don't throw anything away. But um, so you can keep them in any kind of container. I like to vacuum seal. Now that I have a vacuum sealer, I vacuum seal all of my stuff and it stays for very, very long, you know, and so that helps. Next question. Um, sorry, I, I was looking at something different. Um, also, do you, do you dehydrate the veggies to snack on or do you use in recipes? Both. Both. Yeah. We snack on the apples and pears, the rest we use in wraps the recipes. I tried this, I've never had it. It's okay. I mean, if I was in a desert and had no food, I could eat it this way. But I wouldn't eat it regularly as a snack. And it depends. Like, if you're doing the apples, they're more of a sweet, you know, flavor. And so, mm -hmm. they're more of a snack. You wouldn't want to snack on a hash brown, you know, yeah. like this. So, so, Mindy's asking, is the texture, of the, what's the texture of the fruits like? Do they get hard or are they slightly chewy? Like, if you're just going to snack on them. They're slightly chewy. But you know what? It's really funny because, like, with the apples, don't you love the dehydrated apples? Mm -hmm. They're yeah. really good. Everybody that eats the dehyd... And... If you want them a little crisper, you can leave them on longer, dehydrate. And mm -hmm. I did, accidentally forgot some the other day, and they were just like, the apples were like a potato chip. Mm -hmm. And they were so good like that. With, as a matter of fact, you can even sprinkle cinnamon sugar on them and, you know, do that. But um, I was really surprised. This I was worried about the texture when I started dehydrating. The hash browns are just like restaurant hash browns. What happens is all the starch comes out of it. And you know how they have, I don't know, they had the crispier, not the soggy type hash browns usually at a mm -hmm. diner or someplace. That's what these hash browns are like. They are so good. The apples, to use them in an apple pie, I'm not sure why, but the texture is su such that when you eat the apple pie, the apples are the perfect texture for an apple pie. Everybody, as a matter of fact, I've seen people just begging for a dried apple pie because it, they were so good. Well, and pie. I think when you dry it, it concentrates the flavor of the apple more. Yeah, probably. And a lot of the foods it does. So you have more apple flavor in a pie because you use more of them in yeah. the pie. So, okay, next one. So, let's see. Um, somebody, was, Denise is asking, can you dehydrate zucchini? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, Heidi's on. Hi, Hi Heidi. She said uh, zucchini gets very small because of the water content. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a lot it of gets water small. Normal. That's the way a lot of it. It's still good though. Mm -hmm. um, two family homes that said if you, if your fresh tomatoes start to go bad, slice them, put them in the dehydrator. Then when they're all dry, powder them and put them in the cupboard. Yes. yes. I was. Go I was going to get yep, to that. We're we're show oh, you got yep, that. We're going to do that. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Dolores said my son dehydrated pineapple. Oh, yeah, they were so good and and apples with cinnamon. See, it oh. concentrates the sugars in there, like Tara mm -hmm. said, and they're almost like a c eating candy. You have to be careful, though, guys, when you're eating dehydrated food because they are higher in calories if you for the same oh. volume. Mm -hmm. Is um, the same volume of dried versus fresh? There's a whole lot more calories <laughs> in dried, dehydrated because it's concentrated. Because so, it's concentrated, mm -hmm. so. What would equal a regular apple is actually about a quarter in volume. Mm -hmm. So yeah. don't be fooled be, be by, careful. by um, that. So. so Arlene said I would love to dehydrate sliced mushrooms. Can you do mushrooms? I don't remember. Not I don't know. Watery, are they? I don't yeah. remember if I did I them or not. I have not done them. And then uh, Jackie was... I just shared this one because a lot of people were talking about different things. But Jackie says I have apricot trees that are heavy with fruit right now. We'll be making freezer mm -hmm. jam. Yep. But when we had the apple trees in mm -hmm. Idaho, that was a great way because we would save every every possible apple on the tree that was usable mm -hmm. because they would all go bad if we didn't. Yeah, so yeah. So it was great for that. Yeah, to dehydrate mm -hmm. for that. When you get an overdose. Well, what I do too is because I'm by myself, um, I'll have carrots and I'll maybe have some like green peppers or celery in the, in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at those things thinking, I'm not going to get those eaten this before they spoil. So what, I'll just grab them out. I keep my dehydrator out. I'll grab them out. I wash off the carrots, wash off the celery. And even with the celery, you can leave the tops on and everything if you want. And I stick it in the, um, them in the dehydrator. You know, they just roll them out on the trays of the dehydrator. The carrots, the celery, you can do them all together. You don't have, I just do one tray of carrots, one tray of celery, something like that. And, or green peppers, just lay them in there. 
And that way they don't go to waste. Mm -hmm. I have them dehydrated and now I can save them for later on. They're really good for soups in the winter. Oh, I love them. That's my probably my favorite use is for soups. It's for soups. Yeah. You take those dried up yeah. dried dried up carrots, those dried carrots and the <laughs> well, they <are> dried <laughs> they up. Are, or the peas or zucchini, anything that you do like that and dump them in a vegetable soup or like a stew. You can use them in just a regular mm -hmm. stew, meat and potato stew, yep. and that type of thing. And it slow cooks them. You can even do the potatoes, you know, if you wanted to in the, yeah. and because it cooks all day long, that moisture just really gets back into the vegetables as well. Do we have another question? So there were a number of things. Oh. <laughs> um, a number of people, Ellen and Pinky Patty Wow, are saying mushrooms turn out great. Arlene said, I've done mushrooms and they're great for rice and soups. Yeah. Um, that, okay. But Thank we you. had a few questions. Caitlin asked, "Do you put lemon juice or citric acid on the fruit to prevent browning?" That we're going okay, to. You know what? Do we do this real quick, okay. and then we'll answer more we'll questions. Shall we do that? Later. Okay. I was going to show you, like. Okay. So first said, of all, just to reiterate, what we did was we cooked our. They're sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Mashed them up and then laid them on the trays flat, like you would a fruit. Just like up. a thin fruit. Thin yeah. Layer. Thin layer. On, not just the holes. But on the trays that come on, come in them. We you know the plastic trays we said that she's missing. Don't just put it flat on this; it'll just fall straight through. Put it on the trays that come with or it. Or parchment paper, whatever. Parchment paper, silicone, whatever you want. But put them on there like you would do a fruit roll-up instead. So okay. these are all cooked, and when you take and um, are ready to use them, mm -hmm. you just need to de rehydrate them, and you've got mashed sweet potatoes. But here's another way to do them to save even more space, which actually we like better. I, for some reason, but. I like this better. It's just handier. I put them in baggies mm -hmm. or, you yeah. know, you can, you can. So what we do, and we've already, we, we tested these. I didn't want to wash it because then I didn't want it to be slightly wet and then not dry well enough. Yeah. But am I in the camera, Dave? Okay. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you just take a few or, or a lot of your, um, of your, what do you call those? Uh, sweet, sweet potato, potato sweet chips, potato. and just pulse them in your Wait, blender. I have a question. I have a quick question before she does this really loud thing. Um, should we <laughs> dehydrate cheese, blend it, and use it on popcorn? No, no, no. no. Okay, that's the, a Dave question for that sure. Is so, Dave. That's me. So you cannot dehydrate things that have a high fat content mm -hmm. because the fat will go rancid. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, so, you can do it. There's a trick you to can, it. You can. There's a trick to but it, but that's too freeze, involved. That's more involved. That's freeze drying, and you have to buy a $2,500 machine to do it, and it's, yeah. yeah. So Low. freeze drying is a lot different than just Freeze drying is not the same as dehydrating. Freeze drying, you're freezing the foods until they are dried out. Dehydrating, you're just removing the water, okay? All right, so then what you do is just pop it So there you go, and then, woo! Oops, I should have gone one more. That's okay. But woo! Now wait. what I did these for Tar was deathly sick. So, so there you go. I went and gave her a bunch of containers of these. All she had to do is pour boiling, boiling water on them, and instantly. This is why we like these ground up like this because almost instantly, they turned into mashed potatoes. And it's just like uh, instant mashed potatoes mm -hmm. is yeah. what these are. And so Basically, this is instant mashed sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Yep. And she'd pour hot water on them, put butter and salt and pepper. And when she was sick, it was real easy for her to have something that was on her diet, you know, and easy for her to eat or make, make and everything. So I like to do this. You can also use a coffee grinder to grind up smaller batches mm -hmm. of things if you need to. And do, The to do other that. thing is this little packet here I did the same thing with jalapenos my cousin uh, or my cousin did I should say he dehydrated jalapenos so they looked like this then he he just ground them up in the blender and now whenever I need jalapenos jalapenos are one of those things I hate buying because I use a third of a jalapeno and then I don't need it forever so then I have to freeze it or whatever when I use the dehydrated jalapenos then I can just sprinkle in the amount I want gets the heat in there 
But I don't have to be messing with cutting up jalapenos or whatever. It's already you done. You can lay so. any herbs you want out of your garden mm -hmm. and stuff on the dehydrator. Mint, basil, any of the herbs, lemon balm, any of those things that you want work really well um, dehydrating. I can't reach it. So, my arms. Oh, and hold on. Since we've got our time, here is how they look. Can you see this, Dave? No. This is how they look after they've been rehydrated. And okay. well, we drain the water off and... Then we, we fry them like hash browns. BJ, our, These are kind our of, 20 year old, well, he's yeah. about 18 when he used to love, he used to love to just take those and rehydrate them and mm -hmm. make them yeah. for breakfast every day. And you yeah. can see, here's one of the pieces. See, the chunk that it came up. But if you do those in this in a stew or something or mm -hmm. soup, they really get even more. So the longer you let them set, yeah. the more they. Now the two dehydrated recipes we have in Dining on a Dime cookbook right here. We have sun dried tomatoes on page one forty, and then we have um, on page I forgot to get it ahead of time. We had the leather. But I can't find it. It's in the kids' um, section. We have the strawberry leather. Oh, right here, page 377. You know, fruit roll ups, we couldn't call them strawberry fruit roll ups, but that's what they are. Now, here's the thing, guys strawberry fruit roll ups are not, unless you grow your own strawberries, they're not really any cheaper. <laughs> so, if you're having to buy strawberries, unless you just get them for almost free, it's really not cheaper to do that. Mm -hmm. So, but I have it in here because a lot of people will have gardens or something like that. And so Tara's going to do the apples now. Uh, Heidi One said, thing. Heidi said, "Don't uh, inhale the jalapeno the, powder." Yeah, no, no kidding. Oh, no. She knows. Yeah, <laughs> she knows. Yeah, don't Let's inhale. See, how do you know that, powder. Heidi? Um, One now. thing too. Don't be afraid of this. You know, if you've got blueberries and you're wondering, well, can I do blueberries? Throw four or five on the dehydrator and see what happens to them, you know? There's nothing that's going to happen to you, really. It's not going to blow up. Yeah, it's not going to blow up. Then rehydrate it or try one blueberry on its own, dry, and see what it's like. If it's not usable, mm -hmm. try it in the hot water and let it reconstitute, you know, and see and see if that's going to work. Just experiment with these. So, now okay. Tara's going to so. peel the apples. Okay. Why didn't the last layer? Then what I oh you can do. It. So take off the brown spots, and you can leave the peels if you want, but you know it's just kind of up to you. Well, what I do with the peels, can and I show? Then, them? Oh, go ahead. Well, then what I do is I take and just cut it straight in half like Don't this. Cut yourself, please. And then they're all ready. With One slice. That's it. They're all ready. Yeah. We'll They're ready like the, now, what you call it? somebody asked about the lemon juice or the citric acid. Do I don't use it because what I do is I just now okay for a bowl this size. Oh, I don't know what just is. Take out the capping, I do about a teaspoon of salt. You can do. Uh, it doesn't take very much. Just you, as long as you got a little bit of salt in water. And you know what? I have taken these then, and. I tried to see how long they keep before going brown. Five days later in the refrigerator, these things were still not brown. And so you can do this if you're making a fruit salad, anything. People always do it with lemon juice. And what happens is they do the lemon juice in the water or just dip the, the fruit itself. The lemon juice is way more expensive than just a little bit, like a teaspoon of salt. And the thing is, the lemon juice co coats it with kind of like a sticky almost, not real sticky, but there's just a coating on it. This is just the apple. And the salt, there's hardly any salt really on it, but it just brings out the flavor of the fruit and it keeps it from turning brown. And I just throw, I cut, um, I peel all my apples, throw them in the bowl, then I'll get my trays and they don't have to even sit in here. Just as long as they touch the water is all you need to do. Then I'll get my trays and I will lay them out on here. Can they see that in the camera? Yeah, I but wasn't sure if I should zoom it in. What, I'll, what I do then too... Oh, Tara, can you give me another tray here? This one is not working. So what I'll do... Tara was talking about the peels. I use mine for... Oh, here, there. Well, no, not those peels. You can leave oh. I mean, these. 
sometimes you'll have peels like this on here. Like, show hard. I'm like, like down here. Down here? Oh, you're down here? Sometimes they'll have peels like this. I don't like using these in my apple pies. These are my eating apples, the one with the peels on them. So I just, without thinking, I don't try to peel these or do anything special. I take and throw the ones that have a little bit of peel on another tray. See, this one has a peel. Oops, sorry, Michael, on the computer. <laughs> you know, this one doesn't have a peel, so I'll throw it on that tray. And I just quickly divide them up going, you know, as I'm putting them on the trays. Now I have a tray of eating apples and then a tray of, you know, baking apples. And then I'll di I divide them up like that. Now, what? Oh, you ate another one? <laughs> ate one? And so uh, what we do with, somebody was asking about the peels, the apple peels. What I do with the apple peels, I do dehydrate the apple peels. I grind them in the blender or coffee grind, make them into a powder, and you can use them for tea. You can put a spoonful or two in a cup of tea, and it makes really does. I've not does it taste yeah, good? Yeah, tastes good. Because I send it to Tara. You then. can either add it to black tea or just make it as a tea by itself. Either one, and so I use the apple tree uh, peels for uh, tea, and then the cores. What I used to do with the cores, Tara and I would make uh, potpourri for years and sell bags of potpourri. And one of the ones, she had an apple cinnamon potpourri. So I would dry the cores of the apple and we'd put them in the apple cinnamon potpourri. And oh, my favorite thing to dehydrate is flowers. I love dehydrating flowers. And I used to do a whole lot of flowers I'd put on and we'd make potpourri, all kinds of flower potpourri and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, do, the, and what, what kind of chips were you just showing? Somebody was asking how do the, they taste. The sweet potato chips, they taste really good. Now I wouldn't eat them as, I wouldn't eat them like this. I've never eaten one, but I just tried it. I mean, it's okay if I was starving, it would be fine. Well, but, the thing is, I have put no seasoning in these at all. Yeah. But you could sprinkle them with maybe, um... Well, they're kind well, of you, hard to chew. They're, these they're are hard, a little Well, bit these crunchy. are really thick. Yeah. You can make them thinner. See, that's where you just adjust it. If mm -hmm. you want chips, you make it really, really thin. Or you, what better yet, take the potato and slice it paper thin. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't make the chips so much because you have to slice that potato paper thin to make yeah. it into real it takes chips. A lot of work yeah, and so it's a little bit more work. You can also, if you want, now once again, I don't even think this is cheaper, but you can take like a jar of applesauce and spread it on your dehydrator with the tray. And just this one's already done, it's already got the corn syrup in it, it's already got the apples. You just lay this out on your tray, just pour the whole thing on there, make your own homemade fruit roll-ups with this. You oh. can add a little bit of flavored jello if you want, like strawberry, strawberry cherry, oh. whatever, orange, whatever flavor you want to add and color make flavor and, yeah, flavor and color it. So. so if you did like jello or something, but instead of it being jello-y, it's like more saucy. Yeah, this is an apple sauce and the jello just adds the flavor. Okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, we did have quite a few various questions. Okay, okay. Some of them are about specific things. Uh, let me go back and see where were we. Um, we already talked about that. Becky says bananas are great. Somebody was asking. Uh, yeah, banana when, chips are when good. You were talking about how you treat things. Did you talk about bananas? Do you treat them any special way? You know, everything so far I dip in the water. Bananas, I wouldn't let them soak in there. The apples, I let soak till I get all of them done. The bananas, I'm not sure I'd let them soak in there. I might just dip them and pull them out. I don't do, I, I did a couple of batches of bananas and I don't know, I don't know if I didn't do them right or They're something. Kind of, bananas are a little harder They're to They're a little do. bit harder, so I, I can't wouldn't. can't remember, yeah, you gotta so, add something else to so them. So don't start with yeah. those, you know, and you might do some research on those. Oh, actually, I was gonna ask other questions, but Stormy asked, did you put the apple core in the dehydrator? You yes. Did, no, you did? well, oh, yeah. I threw it away, but we used to dehydrate them, yeah. I would dehydrate them to put them in the potpourri, in the yeah. apple potpourri. Yeah, Karen says she just puts bananas on the tray and they haven't turned brown for her at all. So, mm -hmm. um, sorry, you were talking about watermelon earlier, and Rosalie said, I put my watermelon in the blender till smooth, and then they dried great and made great fruit roll ups. Mm -hmm. And Mike Kentucky Home said the watermelon tastes like candy when she dehydrates it. Oh, well, there you go. So yeah, I've never done it. You could do it that probably do it that way. Yeah. yeah. And Carol was saying herbs are very easy to dehydrate. Oh, oh herbs, herbs are the but Now, what I do for herbs, I don't waste electricity on the dehydrator. The best way to do herbs, which I should have gone out and got some, is I just take and pick a bunch, wrap a rubber band around the stem because as they dehydrate, it will go down. 
and take either a paper clip or just a clothes pin and just hang them on either a line hung up somewhere in a dry place or a clothes hanger like you know the old metal clothes hangers just pin them on there and you can put five or ten and hang those in a closet or something that's how i dehydrate most of my herbs i so. gotta tell a story on you and well one the other thing then when they're done i just take the whole bunch run my hand down strip the leaves off crush it up and put them in my jars one one year uh my son david went to go back to tara's to help her with some stuff maintenance stuff around her house and everything and when he arrived there, he called me and he said, my sister is trying to kill me. He has asthma, horrible. <laughs> she had rope after rope in, all over the house with these herbs hanging and drying and he about had a, an attack right there on the, before he even got into the house, it was so bad, but she had just all these ropes of herbs. I do kind of miss that because <laughs> she hasn't done it in a while here. Wait, but can you make jerky with this? Yes. Yes. Like my personal so, question. Yeah, so beef okay. jerky, I don't think we have you a... You cook it we, first? No. no. You don't cook you it You just first. slice your, your meat and marinate it. I don't think we put it in here. I used to make beef jerky all the time. Man, could you start uh, making when it? When round steak was cheaper. Oh, man. Um, but you... Yeah. Oh, yeah. We do have it. Page 179. So I used to make beef jerky all the time. I couldn't remember if I was considered it too... Page 179, right here. So what you do is you just slice. I use round steak, flag steak, whatever you want. Just slice it up, and then page 179 is the recipe. But it's seasoned salt, onion, garlic powder, pepper, soy sauce, Worcestershire, and liquid smoke. Slice it against the grain, and then let it marinate in the... Um, marinade. Put it in the marinade overnight. Drain it, blot it, then just put it on your racks and let it dry for eight hours in the dehydrator. Wait, and wait. then you're done. Page 179 in... Dying on a dime! <laughs> right there. Right there. Beef jerky. So, I love beef jerky. It's one of my favorite things to eat. Ellen says North it's raw and loaded sure. with salt. Um, actually, somebody had asked... Um, I can't... I don't remember where it is, but... Are the are the fruits higher in sugars they're not higher in sugars you just if you take the liquid out the sugar is more concentrated yeah right you just can't eat as much of it because it is concentrated so and rosemary's question is assuming something that i wasn't sure was possible she says do you rehydrate food before cooking a vegetable like broccoli have you ever well broccoli? yeah you would yeah you would unless you just want to eat it dehydrated so pretty much the only thing i would not rehydrate would be apples, pears, peaches, maybe your roll-ups, like your fruit roll-ups. All the vegetables, I rehydrate them before I use them. Well, the fruits, you can rehydrate them or you can just eat them like a yeah. fruit Well, thing. she said before eating. Oh, so before eating. Yeah. And another thing, you don't have to uh, rehydrate the vegetables if you're cooking, slow cooking them all day in a soup. No. You know, or, or a stew. Mm -hmm. Because they're slow cooking in that hot juice, yeah. and they'll automatically rehydrate. Mm -hmm. Cool. Jack Heather says hi. Cat lover oh, says hi too. A lot of you all saying hi to Jack. Um, let's see. Hello, everyone saying hi to me. Where was I? <laughs> uh, Karen was just asking, how do you do pumpkin? Pumpkin, I cook it. What I do is I, I slice it open, and then I scoop out all the seeds. I lay it on a, a big cookie sheet with sides. You probably want little sides on it. And then I just bake it in the oven until it gets uh, tender, you know, just like you can tell it's cooked. You put a fork in, it's pretty tender. And then I get it out, cool it. And it's kind of, I do it like the, I do the sweet potatoes where I, um, I get the peel off of it after it's cool. I powder it up, grind it up and powder it up. And then I basically have mashed pumpkin, but it's pa it's pa it, as a matter of fact, the pumpkin looks just like this. I keep it in jars, and then when I'm ready to make a pumpkin pie or anything with pumpkin, I just rehydrate it, and it's, I have the exact amount I need for my pumpkin pie, you know, that you would get in the can. Also, this is really good to have for like a Thanksgiving. It's so easy because when you're making those sweet potato casseroles and different things like this, all you have to do is rehydrate this and put it in, mix it with the other spices and stuff, and you're ready to go for cooking the, you know, sweet potato casserole. Um, uh, uh, 
Amy T says, don't dry your herbs in the microwave. Hubby made a fire in there one time doing that. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> oh, uh, somebody, I have to think about, there's another question I missed earlier. Uh, but Julie from Georgia asked, can you, can you spray Pam on the trays so they don't stick? Or do they stick in your mouth? No, because no, the oil will go rancid we'll on rancid. your food after it dries. Fat and oil causes these things to turn yeah. rancid, so that's rancid. That's why it's better yeah. not to. And earlier, Gloria had asked if a convection oven would work to dehydrate them. Yeah, I think you can. I have a convection oven. I've never used it for that, but I think you can. Any oven you can use. You just have to have the temperature down very, very low and leave it going like what overnight or something. I think it's usually like 170, 200 degrees is what you want as low as you can get your oven to go. Hmm. And Alice said it's fantastic for herbs and onions that she grinds them and puts them in a jar and it's like making her own Mrs. Dash. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Seasonings do really good. And Karen said watermelon and cantaloupe come out really well if you cut into small chunks and turn halfway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, halfway okay. through the drawing. And Cat Lover says, I have a video in the can making Tara's honey baked chicken in the Instant Pot. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'd like to see that, Yeah, actually. we'd like to see that one. Um, Bandana Grandma says, Mike and Tara, we're happy with our motel. Took a swim yeah. already, got the very last room. <laughs> Good. Oh, she said holiday weekend, right, 4th of July. Duh, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Amanda is asking, what's for supper tonight? Leftover barbecue chicken from the meetup. <laughs> Oh, and some people were asking about the meetup, so I want to yes. share. But, um, All right, any other last dehydrating questions? Karen, well, a couple. Karen said, you can dry kale or collards and grind into powder. Add to smoothies for picky eaters who don't eat veggies. And well, yeah, you in. know, that is good. That's oh, a good idea. Does kale not still have that horribly overpowering taste? Well, if you oh. like kale, that's a perfect way to use it. Yeah, but it. she's but talking about sneaking yeah. it in. Oh, sneaking it in. You can add it to smoothies, and if the smoothie overpowers it, yes, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but. Um... Martha asked, what about rhubarb? Yeah, you can dry rhubarb. Just slice it up into chunks and dehydrate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Cindy was asking about soap. How do you keep goat soap dry between uses? I received a bar's gift and my husband opened it this morning. So just dry it out on like a soap dish or a little wire thing. I think for my new store, I'm going to buy some soap dishes and put them on my store to also have. But just put them on something where they're raised up and it can dry. And Patty G and Jennifer and a number of other people have checked in to say that it was great meeting us at the meetup yesterday. <laughs> Hi, Patty Hello. G. So, we had so much fun. So, so is that the last of our dehydrated? Because we'll talk about our meetup. It's the last of the ones I've seen. Okay. okay. So we had a blast. Dave's going to show some pictures right. of our meetup yesterday. We had a blast. It we was had unbelievably about, what, 11 fun. people came. Here's a group picture. There's yeah, a group a lot picture of, of everyone. We got everyone. We got Nan, we got Mom, we got Dan, we got... Uh, we had Diane oh, I forgot. from I, Denver. And what was her... How do you say her friend's name? It was Diana and um, uh, Shami. Diana and Shami. And I didn't they know Shami awesome. had her own YouTube channel. Yeah, yes. Shami, actually, we should have gotten the link. It's Shami Dixon. She does, like, crafts and stuff. It's it was really cool. S-H-E-M-I Dixon on YouTube. I was gonna get the link for that, but I was she, go watch some of her she has a pretty cool channel with different kinds of uh, like crafts and things. It's really pretty. That's pretty nifty, mm -hmm. and I didn't get to talk to her about that. And then you know, oh, go ahead. And then we had Kim from Fort Collins. Yeah. We had Cassidy and Doug from um, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. We had Patty from Longmont, which mm -hmm. is right by us. All these beautiful, vibrant photos taken by Dave. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had Jennifer, who's from Boulder, Boulder. the home of my birth. And Massive. we had Cass we got Cassie, and then we had oh. Dawn and Dana. Here I got Dawn and Dawn Dana. And Dawn. Dana, Dana and Dan Dana. from Cheyenne. You know me, Cheyenne. And then let's see who else. Let's see. I said Kim from Fort Collins. Is that it? And then we had Bandana Grandma, mm -hmm. who was from Maryland. She was here with us. And is that it? We've been having a great time. They've oh, been we here. had um, Barb, who's down from Los Animas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see. And Did you mention Kim? Yes. yes. Okay. And yeah. Barbara's starting her own homestead down there. She got for $69,000. It almost mm -hmm. made me want to move back down there, but then my memory started flashing back, and I was like, I no. <laughs> yeah, the wind's just too much. So. Oh, Diana said, Shami Dixon, mixed media artist. Yes, and, a, and that is Diana. So, oh, Diana, hi, it was Diana. awesome to see you yesterday. Yeah. I, I mean, I, got any pictures of them. I was so amazed at our group because it was like, 
everybody was beyond friendly and yeah. busy. you know you have mm -hmm. group meetings sometimes and sometimes some will be very quiet and this everybody just the personalities was just unbelievable it was like we were all best friends and yeah. had known each i was really it was really uh, i mean good but yeah and dave and dave and jack like, did oh yes and jamie Jamie's was like, there oh, oh jamie oh, jamie and her daughter Bree was Gina. there and Gina, Gina, yes, and Gina, my neighbor, who is my new soap Did you helper. Say Donna? Mm, poor yeah. Jamie. <laughs> We're so yeah. used to you, Jamie. You're just so family. <laughs> Jamie was there, and Bree and David were on babysitting duty to help <laughs> keep the yeah. little kids entertained. He yeah, did. Right. Him and. Him and Bree and Jack did great keeping there's, the little kids there's entertained. There's a great picture of Dad and Dan. There's a Wait, picture what? of Dad and Dan. I'm just Oops. scrolling through the photos. I missed it. No, no, I just, uh -huh. I just sent it. So we had a blast. We stayed longer, and it really oh, wasn't hot. the food hot. was yeah. so good. Everybody brought the best. And Diana food. brought. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Diana brought chipotle. It's a warm picture of BJ and Dan now. So. Diana brought chipotle chicken, uh, uh, sliced uh, deli lunch, deli meat, lunch sliced, meat, lunch meat. You know, the, I think it was four meal or something. Oh, that was good. <gasps> That was delicious. That was, I was telling Grandma and Grandpa about that. That was so good. I'm going to have had, to get some of that. We had pasta salad, macaroni salads. Mm -hmm. We had, oh, the ch oh here, Denise and Joanne, it. if you're on there. Kim brought this dessert. It was a chocolate cake. You poked holes in it, poured sweetened condensed milk. She you poured hot coffee fudge. Oh, that was then super. Then you crunched up candy oh, bars. Is that one I meant to snack some oh. more before she took it home. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. So we, that one in the yeah. We've got some really hmm? good that cooks. That's picture. just the tip of the yeah, it's, iceberg. It's, on the, on the food picture, it's the lower one. It yeah, was it's really the one on the very yeah. bottom of this Then there was picture. Rice Krispie Treats with chocolate. Yeah. Oh, the boys yeah, just inhaled those. Peanut butter and chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. See, oh, that, there's the food, yeah. That <laughs> bottom one is the chocolate one. That was so awesome. This is just a little bit of the food. There was tons. Oh, we, we had, had a blast. tons yeah. of food. So we had a blast. So that. Anyway, all right. So mom's going to open up all her birthday presents she's been getting in the mail real quick. Martina said, greetings from Argentina. I love your channel. Oh, wow. Thank all the way from you. Argentina. Wow. Hi. And I, That's and cool. And I think it was Diane said she's in the Peace Corps in Macedonia watching us. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Wow. My. Man. So I just They're go all over the Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Happy oh, birthday to you. Oh, here. You've here. already said okay. five times. I know, but you're here in person. Hold on. And Jamie gave me Jack. a new... <laughs> birthday candle. Okay, so here we go. Okay, Jack and Dave, come here. You gotta sing happy birthday to Nan again. Okay, come on. Again? <laughs> okay, you ready to stop arguing? Well, get over I, here and I, sing I, happy birthday to your grandmother! Called her specifically and said, This is a new candle. Sorry, I don't have to sing. Yeah, you we ready? got a new candle. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nan. Happy birthday to you. You can see, blow she it. Gets a year older I'm so every time used to just watching you do it, and I think she gets a year older. Oh goodness, you guys are so sweet to send me these. Karen. Oh yeah. Oh, isn't that a pretty card? That's a pretty card. That's a really pretty yeah. card. Really this pretty. is from Karen. Yes. Oh my. my, my. Oh, Jack ran away, <gasps> Stormy. Oh my. Look what she made. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, these are cute. Oh, oh those are I'm really cute. Holding. Those are, look at those colors. Those are so... your kitchen. They do. They do. Or no, not your kitchen. Oh. Your shirt, I mean. I said your kitchen. That is cute. It's a bag holder. Yeah. And I don't, I actually don't have yeah. one, believe That's it or not, cute. at this time. I used to, but I don't have one. It's really oh, cute. Oh, those are so nice. Thank you, Karen. There you oh go. Oh, my. They right. are spoiling me. This one is from um, Darren in the UK. Ooh. Darren, Darren. And you must share. Oh. <laughs> I must share. I must not share. Oh, yum. Can you guys see? Chocolate, chocolate. It's from Greece. Oh, sure enough. Do I have to share with Grant? Oh, look at your ancestors. Oh, yeah, look at That's so cool. Maybe this side you can see better. It's dish towels from Greece. Mm -hmm. Huh. How? They actually match, match Karen's. Cute. Thank you, Darren. That is cool. This it's one's funny. Shirley. Shirley. It's funny when your daughter is private messaging you to ask you if your son is home. <laughs> <laughs> no, she asked me to, and I'll check. Oh, my. 
Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. the Arc yeah. in Kentucky. Yeah. Let's see. Jill, two magnets are for you, two for your daughter-in-law. I went to see the Ark, so the bookmark is for your Bible. Oh, oh thank nice. you. I, I love bookmarks because I read and I use them in my Bible and I, I do a bunch of them. Oh, cute. Oh, those are cute. So if you guys Shame. don't know, oh, wow. love these too. I like. I mean, I will Can too. Can you see that? It's a picture. They made a life-size oh. ark in Kentucky here, and Look according to the Bible specifications, and it's really cool. It's I'd so love to go see cute it. Cows. Maybe we Those should go to so Kentucky cute. for a family vacation and go see it. I would love to see it. I'm not sure I want to go anywhere in the near future. <laughs> This is from Margaret. Margaret. Everyone's saying how awesome it is you're getting more chocolate. I know. Well, would you believe... Okay, do I confess? <gasps> I'll confess. I ate five of those giant candy bars in, what, three weeks or so? <laughs> Ooh, Ooh what a pretty card. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. It's that's nice. Uh, it's oh, cute. That's she cute. has money. It says a pocket full of chocolate. <laughs> Who's that one from? This is from Margaret. Oh, and it says you're supposed to share it. Oh, Margaret. Oh, Margaret, I will. I will share. Thank you. That is so cute. I was that's joking. Cute... It doesn't say that. See, that's what happens when you don't wear your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to get in trouble for child abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to get her glasses when I got the packages. <laughs> That's pretty convenient, that actually. That is cute. This one's from uh, Joanne. Oh, Joanne? I think so. Isn't that her last yep. name? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's cute. Your chocolate oh, that friend. Cute. Yeah. She's got a little tiny Hershey's, Hershey's kisses all over every place. <laughs> oh, that is cute. Thank you, Joanne. That's really cute. This is from Cat Lover. Cat Lover, huh? From Daddy? Well, lots of people saying we should. Oh, oh, hope your day is a special oh, one. I enjoy your videos. Oh, Cracker Barrel, that's nice. Oh, she was giving this as a thank you, but she can't use it, so she hope you can. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Wait, what is that? I'll be, I'll be Wait, happy to help you'll her. You'll help me on that one, too. Oh, that says Tara. That says Tara. Thank you. That Wait. is cool. Wait, which food restaurant or whatever? Cracker Barrel. <gasps> Oh. Okay, now this one doesn't have a name, but I think it's from our Oklahoma secret, secret gift sender. But um, look at the outside of the package, everybody. You see what it says there? And I think I should check for poison. Perishable chocolate. <laughs> Love it. Our oh secret my. gift sender. Oh yes. my. We had someone from Oklahoma. No, huh? There's doesn't no have... name. Oh, you've already peeked at it, huh? Well, no. I. Uh, oh my. Heavy. I just noticed the, the it was the same. They did the address differently. Oh, do and remember, so I just noticed. Do you remember what kind of chipotle meat <gasps> flavored meat that was? Emirates so wants to know. It was chipotle turkey or chicken oh, breast. Wow. Ooh. <gasps> Yum. Here, let's oh, test no, for we poison. We need to test out. <laughs> it says chocolate covered almond. Thank you. Oh, we've got the sweetest oh. viewers. Holy moly, what's this? Oh, it's just a nice pack. You can have that part. <laughs> Yum. Wow, well, thank you. Michael you know the Bible too. says We're you're supposed sneak to share. That away from it does, Jill. except for your chocolate. There's a verse that says, except for chocolate. That's the only Show exception. Show it to me. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to look like a <laughs> No, I'm, I'm too wise for that, Michael. Hey, I know. Look over huh. here. <laughs> So, no. Somebody asked about Thank video. Thank you guys so much. We got, we got sweet viewers. Go ahead, Michael. Somebody asked about video at the meetup. We didn't shoot any, but uh, Bandana Grandma said she has some. A she's bit, gonna so. have yeah. She's gonna have a little bit. I kind of mm. wish we had shot some, but it was we were just we were just chatting. <laughs> yeah. It, oh. oh. Cat Lover said Jill never gets anything. She needs to have it all. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you, Cat Lover. Oh, Denise yes. says yum, Jill. <laughs> now I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. A lot of people yeah. saying we must go see the Ark. That we would be very amazed. Yeah, I bet you that would be I would love to go see the Ark, but these peeps, they like haven't worked out the time I say yet. let's go next week. Okay, well, then, somebody, let's go One of our week. viewers <laughs> sent us some, some lake or something in Kentucky that we should go to. 
and I had it open and they even had reservations open and I was like well maybe we could just go down to Kentucky for our summer break I don't know that doesn't sound very right but. in the summer it'd be pretty hot yeah uh, oh Diana also said that the meetup was so much fun it was it awesome was, it, it was, was great fun. meeting you yes it was all of you guys it was a blast <laughs> yep so oh are you you want to go through the old uh, questions just waiting on you oh okay I didn't know you I just oh, everybody suddenly got quiet Sorry. Um, Luann said happy birthday Jilly Dilly <laughs> Thank I had you. to share that because I didn't know if, you, if you're familiar with that <laughs> Um, let's see, what did we miss? A lot of people talk about loving the mushrooms. I'm trying to see oh, if anything that we might have missed. Dehydrated mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah, I imagine you can. I just have never done them before, but... Yeah, I'm looking to see which ones we haven't done here. I still think it's funny about sneaking kale into the, the <laughs> other people's things. Um, oh, Stormy had a joke for Jack, but he's not here. Smart Saver said, finally, I cut a live show. Hi from the UK. Hello. Oh, hi. Wow, it's late. Yeah. Thanks for staying up is. so late just for yeah. us. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think that's... Oh, Cheryl, Cheryl said I tried your cinnamon rolls, Tara, but they were super dry. Did I maybe use too much flour? Yeah, you probably, probably mixed too probably. much flour, and you want it just until the stickiness just goes away. You don't want it like really, really dry. You want, when you're kneading it, just until the stickiness stops. When I do bread, if it calls for three cups of flour, mm -hmm. like the last, I'll put in like two cups, two and a half cups, and then the other half I'll use on the, bo dust the board with and yeah. knead, knead it in that way. And that way you usually get the right yeah. amount. Because yeah. most people put all the flour that it calls for in, then they add more flour to knead it with. So just do like if it calls, well, it calls for three cups, do just two and a half cups, something like that. Yep. Okay, oops, sorry, you stopped talking before I, while I was in the middle. Uh, hold please. Okay. Um, Shelly said, I love to make my apple cinnamon Christmas ornaments with my dehydrator, and the house smells amazing. Yeah, yes, that's we a good one. Yeah. We, we have the apple cinnamon in Dying Eye Dime. Uh, we have potpourri in there too, don't we? Yeah, we also have the potpourri There's that I used to make. Here. I used to make potpourri to sell it, actually. Mm -hmm. It was pretty she, cool. She Maybe I should really, do that again. Maybe I should really just... Really good po she Her potpourri smelled... Oh. It didn't it? have a... It was a more natural smell. I mean, it smelled really good, like apples and cinnamon, like something baking in the oven. And So Heather was asking about Wednesday's show, like, what is it? But other people are asking, are you going to be on Wednesday's show? Well, I don't know. I forgot Wednesday was the 4th of July. Oh my. So I guess we'll do a show on Wednesday. I don't know what we're going to do. We could be shooting off fireworks in the kitchen. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Light all Jamie's candles. So, so today, BJ's car was totaled with hail damage from the storm. Quote unquote totaled. So it, it didn't actually, I mean, yeah. He it took was, it in and they totaled it. Yeah, so they totaled it and he was like, well, is there a way I can buy it back or something? Because I don't have another car. And they said, well... They said, um, here, we'll do this. We'll take off this piece, and then it'll be just under the total value, and then you can keep the car. So he got <laughs> wow. um, his car almost totaled, but he still gets to keep it, thankfully, because it was going to be kind of a process to get a new car. Well, and he really and, doesn't like this car, but he likes it enough to keep it if it doesn't cost him anything yeah, so, while he's looking for his, uh, the other car. Yeah, so between be the, the accident and the hail damage we had, the car's paid for now. I mean, <laughs> you know, we paid cash, he paid cash for it, but now it's, um, now it's all, he got he's, his money got, back. Yeah, he's got cash to buy so or something. So we're set, so we're, our, they're coming out to look at our other three cars and the roof, so we may have had damage from that that we're going to see if it was worth checking out. Jamie, you need to call him on your roof because my uncle lives not very far from you and their roof was totaled. So you should probably call your insurance company and have them check. Or, I mean, call a roof company and have them check. So. Yeah. Peaceful Inspiration says, if you go to the Ark, be prepared to walk a lot. Mm. Oh, really? Would, oh, I think it'd be so cool to well, see Well, it's it. huge. What I was wondering, well, how, half I the size of the original how did, one. how did, oh, it's half the it's size? It's a half scale, but the thing is, it's still gigantic. Oh, it's half here. scale? How in the world, even with eight people, did they take care of all those animals in there? That's what I can't figure out. I mean, I guess it was an all-day project. But my word, how did they take care of those animals? Do you think some of them are in hi hibernation? Well, like bears would be, but not that many hibern. Giraffes don't hibernate. Oh, that's true. Elephants don't hibernate. Well, it gave them uh, something to do while uh, they were 
and Susie. Oh, Jack a... said maybe God took care of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a concept, huh? <laughs> That's uh, true, Jack. That is so true, Jack. And maybe he had the migrator children so... shall lead them. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, Jack. That was um, good. Uh, you're Susie, right. Bandana Grandma said, with reference to your Kentucky thing, you you were going to Pennsylvania next week. Ella. I know. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Susie. I thought you were going up to Cheyenne next weekend too, or something. Well, you're like. thinking about that too. We're trying to decide where to go. <gasps> Jim, oh sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say maybe an I should, Ellie and I should just take another trip. <laughs> so. Uh, Jan said I made corn salsa today and used the true lime that you recommended. So yay! Yay! Oh. And um, somebody was asking about BJ. His he he had that eye surgery last week and was it last week? And I think he's seeing a lot better. Yeah. He has a couple little spots in his eye that are. He's got out. some blood bloodshot. spots that look like his eyes are bloodshot, but it's because they used a suction cup on his eye. They mm -hmm. said it'll take a, about a month to. Um, Heal up. Patty, cat lover, thank you. I just saw your note. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, uh, hmm. You're a little slow on the Facebook side, so I was thinking I was maybe missing something, but maybe not. Okay, so I think that looks like it's about it for the comments yeah. and questions. Oh, Active Agent is on! <laughs> <gasps> Lisa! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> That's awesome. She says, love your soap, Tara. Thank you! <laughs> Lisa's the best. We loved Lisa we when met we were her in Mississippi. Mississippi. Yeah. Do we she came all the way her? from Cal. Yeah. She we came. She came all the way from California to Mississippi for the meetup. She oh even my meet word. us. I know. I thought we oh were going to be the furthest away, but we weren't. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys, please visit us at livingonadime.com. Check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook. Thanks and so much for coming. We will today. be back yes. Wednesday. I have no idea. I think we need to start a suggestions for shows. Thing. Because Tara hates to decide. What I the hate deciding be. what to do for a show next, but I'm keeping my mouth shut. Oh. <laughs> so. What? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Gotta have some of my mother. Hey, now you said the same diss to me a little while ago. <laughs> so. All right, guys. But we don't before, know if you're gonna be on or not. Yeah. Before Mike and Mom end up rolling on the floor in a fist fight. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, 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 I love that the kids. Wait, Wait, yeah. That well, got Mike your and Mom attention. Up getting enough on Tara. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be more like it, huh, Michael? It would take, it would take two to <laughs> bring the queen from her throne. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I tested the new apron that we're thinking about getting mm -hmm. embroidered. First washing in the wash machine. It did pretty good. Nothing came apart. I'm feeling good about it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to wash it three or four more times and we might have an apron that we can... Yeah, that we're going to put stuff on the front. <laughs> Don't know what we're going to put on there. <laughs> but something. Well, we sure appreciate everybody coming today. I thought yeah. we were wrapping it, but now we're maybe not yet. Yes, Jack. Who said it, Jack? Early DR did. TR said, Amen, Jack. The Lord provides. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Uh, we will see you on Wednesday. Bye, bye everybody. Bye. Thank you if so much for my presence. Fourth of July yes. early. If you're in the U.S., if you're not, uh, they still have Fourth of July in other places. We could, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. We could get on yeah, the camp. We could have a lot. fire pit and sing patriotic songs for the whole show. Oh, well, yeah, that would start with the Marine Corps hymn. I'm not sure it would mean much to the non US people. <laughs> no, we could do, uh, Jamie suggested we could do a barbecue for the 4th of July. And um, do that live stream? Yeah. No. What? You'd no. see the fire department oh, coming Oh my probably. goodness, oh, yeah. just not do yeah. barbecue. I don't mm -hmm. do barbecue very good. Scary. Well, I mean, if it's outside, then I guess. Well, we have a fire extinguisher in the garage. We have a fire extinguisher. It takes more than get one a fire smoke extinguisher. Smoke bombs and throw them all out in the yard, and then and then have have a live stream having us all be running through the colorful smoke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Happy Fourth of July. Bye bye. Bye, bye all. Turn <laughs> just snagged the chocolate. <laughs>